Guys, welcome to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today, we are out here with our Apprentice S, and we are gonna be showing you the best way to set up your airplane for successful first flight. So, what I'm gonna be focusing on today, we're not gonna be flying inverted or any of that stuff. This is a video really focused for a new pilot, somebody that has not done this and is interested in the hobby. If you haven't already checked it out, we did do an assembly video. It's up here in the left-hand corner. If you go back and check that, we did go over all the different flight controls of the airplane and basic functions of setting it up. Um, my goal with this little series is somebody that's brand new, you'll know what airplane to get now, how to set it up, and how to successfully fly it. On the bench today, we have the Apprentice. We have our 1300 milliamp smart battery that is pre-included with, with the charger in the kit. We have gone on ahead and charged this before we came to the field today, so make sure you do the same with yours. Uh, the airplane also comes with the included rubber bands. I've been keeping mine in the bottom hatch where the battery goes. So we've got those here. So the first thing you do when you get to the field is uh, get your wing put on. It's just like in the assembly video, but I'm gonna show you it here anyway. Uh, Papa, would you come over here and help me hold that for just a second? So what I'm gonna do is he's gonna hold the wing and I'm gonna plug the two aileron ports in. Now remember, you're gonna plug yellow to yellow on both of your cords. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Yellow to yellow. Push until you feel them kind of snap in. Same thing, yellow to yellow. If you get these backwards, remember one of your ailerons isn't gonna work. Doesn't hurt anything, but it's annoying having to take it all back off. So this is a rubber band held on wing. So you gotta try and make sure the wing stays in the middle. Take your rubber bands, stretch it out a little bit, loop one around the front, over the top, and put that in there like so. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take it and give it a couple stretches that first time or it will be hard to put it on over the top and put that in there now the next set you're going to go as an x so we're going to take it and go over the top in an x form like that same thing grab it <laughs> and over the top and do that now that's probably tough enough, but the instructions do show to put one more set on. So we're gonna just take and go over the top and put that on. The wing's not in the middle. So right now, be sure to make sure you're making the wing in the middle. The plane will not fly correctly if the wing is not in the middle. There's a plastic part on the front and the back that you just need to make sure is in the middle. And this is not the easiest thing to lean over the table and do. There we go. There you go. And make sure your rubber bands are on this plastic part on both sides so that the airplane uh, doesn't get dents in it. So now that we've got the wing on, the next thing we're going to do is get the airplane flipped over. I'm going to show you how to power this model up and start setting it up for the pre-flight. All right, guys, our next step is to go on and pull the bottom the battery hatch off of the bottom of the airplane. And we're gonna take our included 1300 milliamp LiPo battery, and we're gonna put this in here. Now, you wanna make sure you get it strapped down to where it's not gonna move in flight. Now, the good news on this airplane, you can't really mess up the CG. As long as you get it in the middle of that strap, you're gonna be safe to fly this airplane. Now, in the future, you're gonna find airplanes where you have to put the battery in the correct place. But on this airplane, just strap that 1300 right there in the middle of that tray and you're gonna be good to go. So the next step we need to do is turn on our transmitter. And I'm gonna power on the airplane at this point. And here's the trick, you power it on and you have to turn it over. You'll see the control surfaces move. That means the airplane has armed. All right, we're gonna be right back with you after we reset the camera and show you around a few other steps. All right, guys. So now that we've fired up the airplane, I have full control. So I can jump and just make sure I have control of the airplane, and I do. 
hold the airplane for this part, give it a little throttle. Make sure your throttle cut is enabled. This is your throttle cut switch. As you can see, it turns it on. I can make sure the throttle cut is on now. Now that I know that the airplane is safe to work on, because I have disabled the throttle, I can flip it back over at this point and tidy up my battery bay. The reason you have to flip it over is that it has a gyro in this airplane and it has to be upright and setting on its wheels for that gyro to initialize. So, now that we have the airplane all fired up, let's make sure all our control surfaces, give them just a little tug. Nothing's loose, nothing's gonna fall off in flight. Check around on all your control horns, make sure none of them are broken. And they have their little rubber things on them that keep them from falling off, which they all do. Next is our pre-flight check. Always do this from behind the airplane where you can see what is going on. So if I pull the elevator stick towards me, I should see the elevator go up. It should deflect up. If I push it away from me, I should see it go down. Ailerons, if I push it all the way to the left, the left aileron should go up, the right aileron should go down. If I push it to the right, just the opposite, the right aileron should go up, the left aileron should go down. Finally, we're gonna check our rudder. If I push it all the way over to the left, you should see the deflection to the left and vice versa to the right, all the way to the right. You wanna always check this before a pre-flight to make sure that none of those are backwards. Now, don't forget the apprentice does have a steerable nose wheel, so we can also check that. If I push it to the left, the airplane would go to the left. If I push it to the right, the airplane would go to the right. These are all good things to check. The final thing we wanna check is our flight modes are working correctly. So right now, I believe I have this in AS3X only mode. I do. And you can tell because if I hold the airplane over on its side, you can see that the ailerons are not correcting. Switch on the top right, or excuse me, top left hand corner labeled B in position zero is your safe mode. So now as I move this over, you can now see that it's correcting. This elevator is going down, which would be making this wing go up. And you can see as it comes back to neutral, that it levels out again. Same thing over here, if I do that again, this one goes up now to tell me that it's gonna be pushing this wing back down. So that's working correctly. You can also check that your elevator is working correctly. Simply lift it up and you should see when the airplane is diving that the tail should be giving up elevator in order to try and straighten the airplane back out. Same thing if the airplane were climbing, you can see that it's giving down elevator right now which would be bringing the nose back down. The rudder's a lot harder to check, but you need to stand and hold the airplane like this, and you can go like this, and what you'll see is if I go to this side, the rudder will actually counter into the, into the turn. So if I go like this, I can see that rudder when I go this way, coming into the turn. Same thing if I go the other way, I can see that rudder deflecting the other way. So after we've checked all of that, we are about set up and ready to go fly. So without further ado, let's meet you out at the field and we'll walk you through your first flight. Guys, we're out here at the field now. Our next step to do on this process, and I'm wearing my crazy contraption so you can see the controller as we're doing this, is we need to range check our model before we fly. So I have the airplane setting out about 30 feet from us. Papa's sitting there to help me with this part. And what you'll see is you're gonna hold the bind button on the top of the transmitter and you're going to flip the F switch five times. So I'm going to hold it. You hear it now making that noise. I'm still holding the button. Now the airplane is in panic recovery mode so it's going to keep making that noise. But at this point I can move the rudder and see that it works fine. So now dad can turn it 30 degrees or 45 degrees from us. I can do it again. The rudder still works smoothly. Smoothly. Now normally we would check all of the control surfaces, but while you're in range check mode with the apprentice, and it works, so I'm gonna let go. Now what I was trying to tell you is normally with a model, 
you can check all control surfaces. But with the apprentice, while you're holding the bind button, this is the panic recovery button, and it will not let you run all the control surfaces. So now that we know we've got everything set up right, I'm going to put the airplane in safe mode, which was position one to just pick it up and make sure. We can always verify by just tilting the airplane to one side and make sure it's actually correcting. So if dad moves it over to one side, are the ailerons correcting? Perfect. So we know we're in safe mode. Position zero here on the controller. Now, we need to figure out what way the wind is. We're in lucky enough to be here in Florida and there is no wind right now. But let's pretend the wind was coming from that direction down the runway this way. We'd want to take off into the wind. So if the wind was hitting me in the face right now, we need to make sure that we take off into it. So that's what I'm going to do at this point. So the airplane is in safe. We're ready to fly. We've checked all our controls. What we're going to do now is show you one of the most important things you can learn. You can always abort a takeoff. Takeoffs and landings are like a good fart. <laughs> if you have to force it, it's going to be crap. <laughs> so. What I want to show you is something very important. Let's say we were taking off. Lori, go on over here. And I was new. Throttle cut off, H. I have control. So let's say I'm taking off and I'm new and I'm yanking it around all over the place and I don't like what's going on. I can always stop. Just let the airplane roll. You're not going to hurt anything. Look at that. Let it roll right off the end. Let me see if I can turn it around in the grass. It's a lawnmower. But look, I didn't hurt my airplane. So the trick is, know your limits. If, if it's getting really hairy and really scary on takeoff, good news is the apprentice isn't going to let you do that, really. I was banging the heck out of the sticks right then and nothing was happening. But if it does ever look bad, just stop. Cut the power. You saw it. It flew right out of it. Let's do it again here. So I'm taking off. Here it goes. Ease into the power, pull back, look at it. So this is your first airplane flight. Keep it in safe mode right now. I'm going to bank it as hard as I can. You can see it's really gentle. I can let go and the airplane wants to climb, but that's okay. So it's actually off a little bit. I need to trim it. Now, you can always hit your trim buttons down here on the controller. There it is, a little bit better. Now keep the airplane up high at first, guys. Here's the trick. Now you can leave it at like a quarter throttle if you want, but if you keep the airplane up high for your first flight, fly it around at about half throttle there and just get comfortable here. Here's all the way to the left in safe mode. Let go and you can see the airplane levels out. I'm gonna push a little bit of down into it because it is still climbing. Now, if you're climbing, you can always cut the power and you can see the airplane comes down. The good thing about the apprentice is that, uh, as you can see, I'm power off. I'm not even steering the airplane. It's very controllable, very. So a little bit of aileron. Come around, I'm still power off. Flying it down. Now, what we need to do this is our first flight. We've got kind of confident at making it turn left and right. Practice coming in to land. Because remember, this, you got to bring it up, you got to bring it down. What must go up must go down. So start practicing some approaches. See, I'm way too high and that sun is brutal right now. So what I might do just for giggles is pretend that the wind's the other way because the, the sun is very hard to see through right now over there. So, if I were to turn it right here, you can see I'm using my sticks. I've got the power off completely. I've let go to let it come back to center. You can stay power out of it. The plane will almost land itself. Oh, but see, that's okay. This airplane's built to take that. I came in with no power and just landed it. I want to show you the plane can handle a little bit of abuse. So we'll taxi it back over to the runway. Here we go. We're taking off again. 
power coming in. Pull up. Keep it away from the tree. Now remember, in safe mode, you can really put it all the way over to one side. Now, what you can start to do also is use this rudder. So your rudder makes the yaw of the airplane. So if you go all the way to one direction and add rudder in, you can see it really brings it around now. Look at it turn now. Let it off. See, this is just rudder, or just aileron. Now we're gonna add that rudder in and look at it bring it around real sharp now. See it? Always stay in front of your airplane, guys. And like I said, keep it up high. I'm not flying this down low. I'm keeping it up high, so if I make a mistake, I can bring it in and recover. Let's see, all the way to the right now. As you can see, it turns really well to the right right now. I think I don't actually have the wing perfectly in the center. But if I add that rudder in, ooh, baby, look at it. Really turns it. Power off. Now, what you need to do when you're coming in to land is think more a little bit of throttle. So let's turn it in like we were going to land. Like I said, keep practicing. It isn't safe. Oh. So like I said, we're leaving it in safe for this flight. I'm coming in to land. Here it is. Look at it coming in nice. I'm going to pull up a little bit and just let it slide down the runway. This is what you need to practice at first, guys. Stay in safe for your first couple of flights. That's what I'm in right now. This is safe mode. As you can see, I can bank it as hard as I want, and the airplane will not let me get in trouble. I can go all the way up and all the way down. You can see right now, this is safe mode. This is to help you at first. See, there's all the way to the left, all the way to the right. You really are not going to have to worry about getting yourself in trouble with this. Now, what if, what if I lose complete control? What should I do? You're, you shouldn't if you're in safe. But let's no, just let's say, say for, I, I for the sake of it, I'm going to put this in advanced mode now, right up here. So in advanced mode, now I have control of this airplane. I can make it roll. I can make it loop. As you can see, it can loop. Okay. Now, if I were to get in complete trouble right now, Oh no, flip it into safe mode and look at it. I just cut the power and let it in safe mode and look at the plane. So let's show that again. You could try this. I wouldn't probably recommend it on your very first flight ever, but in out of safe mode here, just to show you, I've got my switch here. I think I've, I've never actually used the button either, but I think you can just hit that. Yep, you can. I wanted to check it. So let's say, oh my gosh, I am all out of control. Here we go, power off. Hit the recovery button and you see the airplane did that itself. Show you it again. I'm going to fly it a little closer for Lori. All right, we're going to go up. Oh my goodness, it's all out of control. Oh no! Hit the button and there it is. It pulls right out of it. So I'm going to go back into safe mode, which is where I want you guys to be at first. But I'm showing you that this airplane has that function. So I am power completely off right now. You can see that this airplane really glides well. This is what makes us a great trainer. It's very forgiving and very gentle. You can see it's kind of flying with that nose up attitude, right on the edge of a stall, but safe's gonna keep it from actually falling out. It's just an amazing how slow this airplane can fly. And this is what you need in a good trainer. So here I am showing you again. I'm putting my stick movement in, bringing it around to the runway. All right, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna pull power. I'm going to push down a little bit to get it coming down. Getting close to the runway, I'm going to let off. And here it is, pull back. That's how it's done. It's going to be a little bit messier than that on your first few tries, guys. You know, I've been doing this a long time, but I'm trying to show you as best as I can how easy this can be. Here we go again, one more time. I know Miss Lori's needing a break. So, power up, taking off. Pull a little bit of back pressure and the plane jumps off. Like I said, if you're in safe mode, it's not going to let you get in trouble. I'm holding full up and full right aileron right here and look, the plane is not letting me get in trouble. If I did get in trouble, let go. Look at it. 
It just comes out of whatever I'm doing. What is the worst thing you can do? The worst thing you can do, guys, Dad does have a good idea here. The worst thing you can do, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Keep fighting it. That's the worst thing you can do. And don't go full throttle. Now the airplane's really getting fast and getting out of control. Oh, God, what am I doing? Remember, power off, let go. This is as simple as it is. Let's see if I can actually do this correctly. And, and I'm going to see if I can aim this to do it correctly. So let's say I was completely out of control. If I could get this thing pointed towards me and I could let go, what's the worst that's going to happen? Here we go. The one thing I don't want to do is go in the tree. So I'm going to point it back over this way. But I'm letting go completely right now. You're not flying. I'm not flying this airplane. You're into the wind. There you go, guys. You just seen it. I didn't even touch that control on that. And you didn't. And I didn't it. hurt it. And you didn't start. But really Don't over button mash. Over control. Right. You didn't over. Control what I wanted it. to show you right there. Safe mode. Apprentice. I let go. I used the stick to just get it pointed at me. Is all I did. And I let go of the controls completely there for that landing. What a this airplane is the best choice for you when you're starting out. So. Guys, give us just a minute. We're going to get back over to the bench and I'm going to wrap this up for you. All right, guys, so we finished our first flight. What I want to go over now is our telemetry menu here on the, the transmitter. I did not use the full flight battery. As you can see, I still have two green dots left on the transmitter. Um, when you're flying, though, these little dots go across and it tells you it'll start blinking when there's one left. It's time to land. Um, the other thing that we have done is I have the airplane in throttle cut. Remember, anytime the airplane's not out at the field flying, you want to try and keep it in throttle cut so it doesn't accidentally go flying across the room. So, now that we've finished, our next thing to do is power down the model. Now, you always start by powering on the transmitter and then the airplane when you start it. It's just backwards whenever you're going to turn the airplane off. You always power off the model first and then the transmitter. So. We're going to take and open our little thing. We're going to unplug our flight battery. At this point, it is now safe to turn off our transmitter. So hold the button. Transmitter is off. Some of the optional things you may want over time, um, although this has telemetry, sometimes it's a little nicer to have a actual battery checker like the Spectrum XBC100 smart battery checker. With this, you can take and plug it in. Only goes one way. And it will tell you, I don't know if Lori's going to be able to see this or not, but it sure. will tell you each individual cell. Oh, yeah. Can you read that? Yeah. Perfect. So we've got uh, 383 a cell. This is about perfect. This is where I like to stop. Um, the smart battery will actually discharge the rest of the way to the 3.8 perfect and balance this battery as long as you stop a little over that 3.8. Um, but with the smart checker, I can actually see what the real voltage is versus I've got three, four dots on here. Sometimes it's nice to actually know what the battery is at. So this is a great tool. It's also a servo checker and a couple other items. This is a great first additional item to get. The other thing is if you start liking it and you start charging a lot of batteries, although the S120 that comes with the airplane works fine, it takes forever. So they do make the power stage bundles. They come with two batteries and an S150 charger uh, that you might think about getting also. We'll try and link those down below as long as they're still available. Um, yeah, guys, the Apprentice S is pretty much the boozer's recommendation for your first ever airplane. Now, of course, if you can go to an AMA model flying field and get trained, that is always our recommendation. This transmitter, you can take two DX, uh, DXSs as long as you put the optional uh, receiver in the back of one of them, and you can link two of these together to do student pilot training with this airplane. Now, if you go to a local flying club, check what radio systems they use at the flying club. If you show up with Spectrum and everybody else flies Futaba there or vice versa, you really want to try and stick with what everybody at your field is doing. I know I'm a Spectrum fanboy. I love my Spectrum. 
But if I went to a field and all they flew out there was Futaba and I was trying to learn, the guy that's going to train me probably has a Futaba radio and wants me to have one also. So that's where I get where if you're doing this at a club, check with them first. They may have a trainer to always borrow, however. But if you're doing it like I showed you here, it's just you, you don't have anybody to teach you, I really feel the Apprentice S is the perfect airplane to start with. Flies nice and slow, you have safe, you can work your way out of it. Um, and we will show you another flight video of this airplane without safe. It's not really going to be a super performance airplane, but what you can start working towards. Anyway, guys, I hope this video really helps. So let's, let's recap the, the essential of what we've tried to stress today. One is the on takeoff, if it's a bad takeoff, pull the power off. Right. Two, that for the first two or three flights, you need to leave it in safe mode. Correct. Three, I think that we've got it, that, that panic is not your friend. And right. We've showed you how, if you do panic, to safe put it mode, in safe mode and relax. Pull the power back. Pull the power. It, the worst thing you can do is crash this thing into the ground at full throttle. Three, if you know you're going to crash, pull the power, power off. Three, I think it's very important that you always have to stay out in front of the airplane. Uh -huh. Think before you do. You, 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 you know, if you're, you've got, at first, you have to think hard. It's like riding a bicycle. When you first start to ride a bicycle, you have to think real hard. After you rode it for a while, you quit thinking. It can becomes normal. That's the way this airplane uh -huh. will do. Three, you have to pra practice your approaches. Oh, the most two things that's the biggest critical thing is takeoffs and landings. And landing, there's more airplanes tore up within three feet of the ground anywhere in radio control model airplanes. Uh -huh. But we have shown you that by using the safe mode, and not panicking, turn the power off, and it'll all, it lands itself. Yep. The biggest thing is turn it into the wind and let go if you're getting freaked out. And the plane will level itself, and with no power, it's going to slowly come down. And if there's any kind of wind, it almost stops and hovers down. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope this video is really a great starting point for you. If you've been enjoying the Mary Boozers channel today and learned something from us, go on and hit that subscribe button down there on the left-hand corner. It really helps us. If you've decided to get an apprentice, we do have these linked down in the description. We are Horizon Hobby Affiliates, so if you buy one through our link, we get a little cut of the commission and it lets Horizon know you new pilots are coming from us, and uh, we would really appreciate it. So, as always, get out there and fly with your friends, and we look forward to seeing you flying with us.